Let's learn how to batch convert JPEGs to PNGs in Photoshop in this quick and simple tutorial. To begin, make sure all the JPEGs you'd like to convert are put into a folder. So I put mine here into batch.jpegs. Come into Photoshop and go to File, Scripts, and Load Files into Stack. In Load Layers, select Folder and use the Browse function to locate the folder of the JPEGs. Once you've located the folder, click Open. You can also do this step with individual files as well, but I find it's quicker to do it when you put them all in a folder. You don't have to do this, but I like to turn on Attempt to Automatically Align Source Images. From there, click OK. All the JPEGs have been now loaded into one Photoshop file. The next step is optional, but if you'd like to remove the backgrounds from the JPEG layers, there are a couple of ways to do that. You can either select each layer and then come to Properties, and if you can't find a good window, Properties. Scroll down, and under Quick Actions, you can click Remove Background. Now the remove background's done a decent job, but if I zoom in here, you can see that it's not perfect. So if that is the case for some of your layers, if I just command Z to undo, you can also try select subject, zoom in, then refine the selection by using the magic wand tool, adjusting tolerance, so I'm going to bring it down to 10, press enter, and then either use alt or option to remove parts of the selection, or use shift to add parts of the selection. I'm not going to take my time with this, I've done it really quickly, but once you're happy with the selection, come to Marquee, right-click, Layer via Copy, I press Command-0 to zoom out, and then you can delete this original layer here, and you've got a cutout of the dog. So continue now and remove all the white from the other images. So I'm going to use the Remove Background option for the remaining layers. Toggle the visibility on or off of the layers to make sure you're happy with each layer. And once you are, turn all layers back on, and then come to File, export layers to files. Select a destination folder you'd like to save the exported PNGs to. So I'm going to save mine to batch.pngs. Press open. Set a name prefix if you like, or you can leave this blank. The script will automatically add a number and the name layer to each file. So you can also rename your layers if you want those in the file name. Select if you want only visible layers or all the layers in the document. Depending on your color mode, you can pick PNG 8 or 24 for the export, so I'll go for PNG 24 because I want a broader color palette. I'm going to include my ICC profile because this is for web, and then I want my transparent backgrounds. I'm going to turn off interlaced images because I don't want the extra file size, and I'm also going to trim the layers so that each file is only the size of the cutout dog. Finally, when I'm happy with my options, I can click Run. Once it's run, export layers for files are successful, click OK. So if I locate the folder in my finder, there you can see my PNGs have all been batch exported. With this method, the export will add numbers and the layer name, as you can see. So you can either use this to your advantage to order all your exported files, or you can just go in manually and rename the files depending on how many you have. And there you have it. That's how you batch export JPEGs to PNG from Photoshop. Super simple, can save you hours of time. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep on designing and I will see you for the next tutorial.